Hi, I'm Melissa Francis with Timeless Creations, and today I'm going to show you a twist on what to do at a wedding or for any kind of chair or seating. Um, Weddings are really, um, well obviously weddings are popular, but decorating and doing your own decorations for weddings is becoming really popular. And I've noticed on Pinterest, I love Pinterest, is that they're doing a lot of stuff in the back of the chairs of the bride and the groom. And I thought, wow, wouldn't that be a great little segment? So I just wanna show you these really cute little banners that I've done. One says, Mr. And the other one says, Mrs. And they're really, really cute. And they're so easy to do. And I just want to take a minute we're going to show you how to do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get, we sell these fabulously new banner chipboard. And I've just taken some of our paper from our new Timeless Elegance line. I, as you can see, I really love this paper. I've used it a few times just because it's very monochromatic and it's also very kind of like vintage looking. I've just put it on the chipboard. Then I've just used, I love using the sanding block, especially when you're on the chipboard and just kind of edge it, especially to the point. Cause you want to kind of sand down the point because you, if it catches on something, you don't want it to rip. You've done all this work and you get it to the wedding like, oh, it's ripped. So the next thing you want to do is you can just use regular chipboard for the letters we have this is actually from our line from quite a way back it's just it's old um, glitter chipboard I don't really like it I love how chunky this is this is our glass glitter and how I did it I'm just gonna show you I just uh, got some tweezers here and I'm just gonna move these forward here I'm just gonna and bring in my glue and I'm gonna bring in my glitter and you're just going to take the M and you want to want to just load it up in glue like that on the front. And you're just going to put it in the glass glitter like this. And the neat thing about it, and where the, the, the tweezers were, you can always go back. You can see how thick and chunky it gets. If you want it more thick and more chunky, just wait until it's dry and then go back and do it. And the neat thing about Elmer's glue is, I don't know if you remember when I was in kindergarten, we used to go up putting it on the palm of our hand. It would dry and you could peel it off. So you always remember, even though if you see it white, it will dry clear. So we're going to do that. And then the next thing I'm going to show you is if you um, look on the banner right here, you can see these are our rosettes, and I'm just gonna show you how to do the rosettes. It's with our crepe paper, and you just wanna cut a strip. Now, very important um, with the crepe, or sort of the crepe paper rosette, is whatever the width of the circumference that you wanna do, you want the, the strip to be half that, because since you're, you're gonna gather it together, so if you want a four inch um, rosette, then you wanna do a two inch wide strip of the crepe paper. And I find the average one that looks really good is about 14 inches long. And you're just gonna take your needle and thread, and I've already done this one, but I just wanna show you what I've done. It's just a plain old straight stitch. You're just going in and out, in and out, in and out, and whatever width you do, like if you do a quarter of an inch, you wanna do the quarter inch all the way so that the pleats and the rosette are to stay the same. So you just want to do that. Then you're just going to gather the two ends together to create this really cute little rosette. And then this is what, if you look up here, um, as you can see the glass glitter on the banner on the edge. And the way I did that was I just took my rosette and I just run it in the glue and I do a little bit of time so I don't get glue on my hands. And I come over to my little pile of glass glitter and you can see isn't that fabulous so you're just going to run that along and you're just going to load it up like that and I'm just because it only takes a few seconds to do I'm just going to finish that so that you get the full look of it cool there you go isn't it pretty and then for the center here on the banner I'm just gonna move this back move these aside right now just a little bit of glass glitter around and you can see right here, we've done another piece of paper, and this is also from our classic elegance line, which is new. It's this kind of ledger paper, and I've just taken a um, hole punch that's got a scallop, and I've just cut it out, and you can see it's really pretty. This one, I think we did a smaller one. I think this is a two inch one, and this was an inch and a half, but you wanna do about a two inch, or really it depends on how big your chipboard is, your chipboard letters. So it doesn't really matter, and we just cut it. And then I didn't wanna do glass glitter on glass glitter on glass glitter. So what I did is I used the stickles, or just glitter glue, it doesn't really matter. And I just kinda of went across the edge. I don't know if you look very, very carefully, you can see, and I've just done that. So you're just going to load that on, then you're going to take your, ooh, a little bit wet. My mother said you gotta wait for it to dry. And you're just gonna put your your uh, letter on top. And then what I want to show you 
is how to decorate the top. This is our fabulous silk organza trim. And what I did is I just, again, it comes with organza on one side. If I peel it back, you should be able to see it. So you could do organza on one side or you could do the silk on the other. And you're just going to turn it over and you're just going to glue where the seam is on the back like that. Then you're just going to take your crop crocodile, you'll punch two holes, just like you can see. I'll bring this banner back right here, a hole and hole and hole and hole. And then I just, instead of, I use a seam binding on the edge, and I thought, oh, I need something, you know, it's a wedding. You need something really romantic and really over the top. And I thought our really cute little brooch chains that we have would be great for the centerpiece. So all I did was take a small piece of seam binding and again, I think I've said in earlier segments how to do this. You just get it all wet, and then you just squeeze it all out, and you get wrinkled seam binding. But if you want distressed looking, you just put it in tea or coffee. Squeeze it out and just let it sit to dry. And then what I did was I just did on the end, kind of like here, just a little tail. And to hold the, the brooch chain, what I did is I just fed it through the end. There's a little loop here. You just thread it through. And I went back and just tied a knot to hold it in place. So there you go. Beautiful Mr. and Mrs. And it's not always for a wedding. If you're having a party or a Christmas, you can do place markers with everybody's initials. It's a wonderful idea. Great little decoration. I'm Melissa Francis from Timeless Creations. I want to thank you for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you again soon.